This is a brief history of Liberia. Liberia is on the western coast of Africa between Guinea, Sierra Leone, and the Ivory Coast. It currently has over 4 million residents and has had two civil wars lasting for a combined 13 years. Liberia started with the American Colonization Society that was created by Quakers and slave owners and their job was to return Africans to their native land. In 1822 the first group was sent and in 1824 the initial settlement of Monrovia was created which is now the capital of Liberia. The country eventually goes bankrupt in 1909 because they're spending more on their imports than they can make on their exports. Things start to go bad when William Tubman is elected the 19th Liberian president. He started to modernize Liberia with the income that came from discovered mineral deposits around Liberia. He built roads, schools, and hospitals, but slowly became an authoritarian and personally changed the constitution to allow him seven more terms. In 1971, Tubman dies, and his vice president, William Richard Tolbert, takes over. He tried to help the economic and political climate, but failed, and most of the population continued to lack basic amenities such as safe water and electricity. In 1979, Tolbert increased the price of imported rice as an incentive to boost production, but it backfired and demonstrations turned violent. Samuel K. Doe, an indigenous master sergeant, sympathized with the demonstrators, and in 1980, him and a small group of an enlisted men assassinate Tolbert. After the assassination, the People's Redemption Council was formed, and it was the first time that native Liberians ruled Liberia. It became quite obvious that the People's Redemption Council was ill-fit to lead the country, and internal conflicts caused Samuel to eliminate members of the council who opposed his authority. In 1985, Doe declares himself winner of a presidential election he clearly lost, and his government mistreatment of the Geo and Mano ethnic groups causes violence to erupt amongst the natives. Some people flee to the Ivory Coast and meet up with one of Doe's ex-officials, Charles Taylor, and in 1989, Charles and his army of 100 men return to Liberia. Once they return, thousands of natives affected by the violence join Taylor's army and the Civil War starts. Taylor's army, the NPFL, make their way to Monrovia in less than six months, and in September of 1990, a military branch off of the NPFL captures Doe and executes him. It is rumored that the leader of the military branch off of the NPFL videotaped the torture, execution, and consumption of Doe. In 1996, Taylor agrees to a ceasefire and wins the presidential election of 1997 with his slogan, He killed my ma, he killed my pa, but I will vote for him. In 1999, two opposition groups, the Lurd and the Modell, tried to rid Taylor of power. The Lurd controlled a vast majority of Liberia and recruited children into their ranks, and by mid-June of 2003, Lurd controlled two-thirds of Liberia. With tensions high between Lurd and Taylor's government, the U.S. sent a small number of troops to Liberia to increase security at the Monrovian embassy, and on July 29th, Lurd agreed to a ceasefire. Taylor then resigned from office on August 11th, 2003. Since then, the UN has kept Liberia relatively peaceful since the wars, occupying as security only, with living conditions still awful with 80% living in poverty.